On March 27th, we hosted our student senate retreat at the board office. Student leaders from across the OCDSB came together and discussed various issues at the board. Our day consisted of team building activities, laying the framework for a general student council constitution and a student voice policy, and providing input on district-wide exit outcomes. Check out what we did. who came out and participated. We're going to take these projects and put them into action over the next few weeks. We asked our student senators what they enjoyed most about their position. Here's what they had to say. My name is Isaac Presbowski. I'm the student senator for Nepean High School and uh, I'm going to talk to you about what I've learned from being a student senator this year. Uh, so one thing that I really love is that I've met so many different people from all across the school board. So. When I hear the name, the school West Carlton or something, it's not just some school, it's the school that Tom goes to, or uh, just any one of these schools, basically. Uh, my name's Anna, and I'm from Woodruff High School, and from the Student Senate, I really learned that students do have a voice in the board and what goes on around them. Hi, my name is Alec Wang. I am the Student Senator from Bell High School, and this year, um, I, w I took the initiative to run for Student Senator, and what that allowed me to do was to represent my school to the school board. And I had the opportunity to work with a lot of student senators from all over the school board and this really opened my eyes to a lot of different perspectives about what people think on issues that affect students. And I think that this is a really good chance for you to meet new people and to work with people who want to discuss interesting topics that might affect your, uh, your life in the school. So if you feel like you're up to the task, maybe you should run for student senator at your school. My name is Sandy Ma and I'm from Canterbury High School and um, I'm a student senator for Canterbury High School. It's cool that we all have sort of different opinions but we have sort of the same goal and that we come here and it's not only like talks but it's also fun talks and we actually, sometimes we're not always productive but we actually get a lot done and we actually find things um, to change and find things to do and I, I really like it. Hi, my name is Jeff and uh, I'm the student senator at uh, Colonel By Secondary School. Today was a great day, we just had our uh, student center retreat and uh, I've, I actually learned a lot about uh, the people who I work with every single month and the very important people who do work at the board uh, to ensure that we have a great school days and a great uh, high school you know, life. Hey, I'm Vinit, so I'm the student senator from A.O. Jackson in Canada. So my experience on the student center has been a really great one and I learned a lot about the board and how the board works and before, I didn't really know about the board very much and all the stuff that they had and all the policies and how policy worked. But um, after my experience on the Senate, I've learned a lot about how policies work and how, student vo and how students really do have a voice, even though you might think that student council is just a club. It really does lend itself to having a good voice and being able to make great impact. So my experience on the Senate has been a really great one and I would recommend it to anyone who's thinking of running for student senate to go for it because it's a great one. Right now your school is in the process of choosing or has already chosen your student senator for next academic school year. At the end of April we'll be holding elections for the 2013-2014 student trustees. That's us next year. <laughs> your school student senator will have the opportunity to run to fill the position. Student senators and co-presidents from all our secondary schools will be voting. Does one of your friends work hard to promote the student voice? You should nominate them for an OSPA, an Ontario Student Voice Award. Check out the nomination form at the link below. Our question of the month to you is, what skill do you wish was taught in school but isn't? As always, you can contact us at Facebook, Twitter, or send us an email. See you next month.